is useful for us to know for volume calculations as well as estimating. So what centerline perimeter is looking at, so if we look at this particular drawing, we have the outside perimeter of the footing, we have the outside perimeter of the foundation, we have the inside perimeter of the foundation, and we have the inside perimeter of the footing. If we look over here on a little elevation drawing, we can see that the footing is 20 inches wide, it's six inches tall, the foundation wall itself is seven foot six inches tall, and the foundation wall is eight feet, or sorry, eight inches wide. And we need to find concrete volume for the footing, and we could possibly need to find concrete volume for the foundation wall itself. Foundation wall may be uh, solid concrete or it might be ICF. Uh, and the footings are definitely going to be concrete and the footings are going to need to be formed on the outside and on the inside with forming material. And what we can do is we can figure out the one centerline perimeter for both of these units, the foundation and the footing, in one step. When we're looking at construction drawings, we're always given the outside dimension of the building itself, not the footings underneath. So the building itself is 44 feet long. That's from outside of foundation wall to outside of foundation wall. The building itself is 32 feet wide. That's from outside of foundation, outside of foundation. The first thing you're going to have to do is figure out, okay, well, how much form material and how much concrete am I going to need to put the footings in. And the way we did it in the last class, we broke it into four rectangles. We drew a line through here and a line through here. And we said, this is one rectangle that we'll figure out volume. And then we'll double it because this upper rectangle is also the, going to be the same volume. Then we subtracted the foundation width from each end and we figured out these two small end rectangles. So it's quite a few steps. Whereas with using centerline perimeter, what we end up doing is kind of knocking off all of the different steps and we can get it into a two-step process. So the foundation, or sorry, the formula for centerline perimeter is centerline perimeter equals the length plus the width times two, okay? And the length and the width that we're talking about is this 32 and 44, the actual dimensions of the building. So the length plus the length plus the width plus the width. And what that's going to give us, this length plus width times two, is going to give us the outside perimeter. And then from that, we're going to subtract four times the unit width. And I wanted to use unit width here in our formula because the unit can be our footing, the unit can be our foundation. Okay, so four times the unit width and in this case here, we can actually even erase that and we can write in four times our foundation width. You're not going to be given the footing uh, dimensions outside of the actual width of the footing. So this is something you'd have to figure out if you wanted to uh, do the perimeter, centerline perimeter for that. So if we look up here inside our box, we have centerline perimeter equals 32 plus 44 times two, okay? And then in our second set of brackets, we have four times. So four times the foundation width. And we have the foundation width written here as 0 0.667 feet. The foundation is actually eight inches wide, but we have feet and we have feet and we have, we can't have inches, we have to have feet. So we take eight divided by 12, and that gives us 0 0.666 repeating forever. So we round it up to 0 0.667. So that gives us a centerline perimeter of 152 feet minus 2.668 feet. And that gives us a centerline perimeter of 149.33 feet. That is the centerline perimeter of the foundation wall, and that is the centerline perimeter of the footings as well, right? So we managed to knock off two units in one calculation. So once now that we have this 149.333, 
then we can simply do a volume calculation. Footings are what we have to crack off first, so we might as well do that calculation first. So footing volume is going to look like this. It's going to be uh, any standard volume calculation, length times width times height. Our length is now our center line perimeter, right? So our length for our footings is going to be volume equals 149.33 feet. So that's the length center line times the width of our footing is 20 inches. Okay, now 20 inches isn't going to work. We can't leave it like that. So we're going to take 20 and we're going to divide that by 12 to get it into feet. 20 divided by 12 equals 1.667 feet. All right, and then we're going to finally multiply that by our thickness or our height, length times width times height, length times width times thickness. And the thickness is over here, shown in our little elevation drawing as six inches. Six inches isn't going to work. We have to convert that into feet. So it's going to be 0 0.5 feet. Volume equals. So we get our calculator out and we can look at this and we can say 149.33 feet times 1.667 feet times 0.5 feet equals, right? And what we end up with is 124 point, we'll round it up, 5 cubic feet of concrete required for our footings, okay? We're not going to order 125, 24.5 cubic feet from Lafarge or Dufferin or St. Mary's, they're going to want it in cubic meters. So we're going to do this. We're going to go 124.5 divided by 35.32, because that's how many cubic feet are in one cubic meter. Hit our equal sign. And we're going to order 3.5 cubic meters. Okay, and that's for our footings. If you want to do the foundation wall, we can look at that again. So we'll get a fresh piece of paper here. Okay. So let's have a look at our foundation wall. So what do we know? The center line perimeter of our foundation wall, center line perimeter of our foundation wall equals 149.33 feet. The foundation wall is uh, eight inches thick. And the foundation wall is seven foot six inches tall. Okay, so foundation wall. volume. Volume equals 149.33, that's our center line perimeter, multiplied by our foundation thickness, 0 0.667 feet, multiplied by our foundation wall height of 7.5 feet. Okay, I got rid of all of the inches, converted everything to feet. The foundation wall then, the volume then equals, pull out our calculator, 149.33 times 0 0.667 times 7.5 equals. Okay, and we end up with 740 seven cubic feet of concrete. We can take that number and we can divide that by 35.32 to figure out how many cubic meters we need. So our volume equals 
two cubic meters. Okay, so to pour this, uh, you would need two and a half concrete trucks to get the foundation walls poured for this particular house. All right, and as you can see, center line perimeter just eliminates steps. It's one extra thing you have to do at the beginning, but we get to do all sorts of great stuff outside of that. Um, so center line perimeter for foundation wall volume and for footing volume. Okay, stay tuned for another video on using this for cylinders and also using this information for uh, your forming material for your footings.